Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones where we are continuing as Magister Valerion the bloody shit and blind who has earned himself a very sizable position in Pentos arguably the biggest vassal in Pentos now which immediately is going to put targets on our back because this is home you know this is a free city this whole region is just meant to be people who vie for the power of the Magister and then lose it and then gain it and lose it and gain it and lose it and gain it. That's all they live for. And yet here I am taking out swathes of land in the south. But we're an ambitious man and our eyes do look on that majestic city. But also on our own city that we're helping build here. Uh, Drake's Bay growing nice and big and strong as we are saving up for an expansion in the Juracos region. Uh, our son should be coming of age rather soon, and we'll be looking at potential brides for him. Oh, Aegon has finally died. He's re religiously protected. I'd rather take that than uh, feudal changes to his contract. That's going to put Ares on Dragonstone. How wonderful. They all hate me. They all absolutely despise me. Quite sad, really. I wish they didn't hate me so. If faction targeting me is disbanded. Stubborn. Brave. Let's give him brave. He likes me and he's doing that faction. It's the loyalist faction. They are safeguarding the leech from other factions. Who's my loyalist? He's a loyalist. That is great. I'd love if you'd be a loyalist. I'd even give you Dragon's Door eventually. I'm just holding on to Dragon's Door for quote unquote a little while. I think I go with this because I think they count as Republican rulers, although I'm not sure about that. Republican rulers are weird because I feel like it's just a remnant from vanilla. And if these guys are considered uh, as Republican vassals, then that would be wonderful. There we go, they knew they were going to rise. I will not be threatened. 14,000? What? Where's the 14,000 coming from? I see a bunch of 1,000s. They have an ally they're calling in? That doesn't seem right. Surely. Either way, let's take out these armies quick in case they do somehow have 14,000 they're pulling out of thin air. Okay, he's joined on my side because he's a loyalist. No, they don't have 14,000. Unless they, he must have an ally, and that's where it's making that calculation from. But nonetheless, surely we can catch them in some early battles here and just shatter these numbers early. Unless they just keep constantly outrunning me, which is not helpful. You'll probably catch him in this cabinet before he arrives. Especially if they're running here. Perfect. And we'll get an early shatter on them. Wonderful. Great early battle to take. And I think we're going to catch him as well. Another daughter? Honestly, I don't need, con I don't need concubines because my wife is just having so many kids. Ooh, risk of plague. Uh, let's get the Mesa. Let's counteract the plague if it is going to spread here. Seems like what they're saying is it's actually going to start with us, which would be disastrous, really, if, if a plague is starting in our region. Let's not overextend our armies. Let's take out him, because he seems to be the lead... Oh, no, he's not the lead. You're the lead, but your capital is in a weird spot. Another spy sent by another unrelated dude. Yeah, I'm actually going to move my army over to help him here. Because I don't like how close these armies are getting to him. Let's just take out this army again. They, 
They never want to give me council positions. They're like, oh, I guess. Look, if I had any other choice, I wouldn't. But you're like the best for the job, so take it, I guess. If you want. It's like, don't be a dick about it. <laughs> Try to be nice. Rumpant flagellants, or I can persecute, get popular opinion reduction, or control the clan. I'd rather just the, take the population. It's not great, but I'd rather people don't flagellate themselves, in, especially if it's in public. Oh my goodness, look at that! That's a horrid plague to hit Pentos, and that is. The whole area is taken there. That's really bad. God. Take Valor as a concubine. Is this just a spy? Because you hate me and she also hates me. I'll decline that. We're losing money during this war, so I would prefer that this war does not last forever. Let's try and get this over somewhat quickly. I'm hoping this siege will be the end of it. And indeed it is. We can get them all imprisoned. Um, take her at least. What to do with them? I guess I should realistically revoke all their titles. Obviously I first have to get the Crown Authority up. But they do deserve to have their titles revoked. I mean, you literally have already shown that you don't want to be loyal to me, so. Revoke those. They're all going to be, like, rivals with me, but it doesn't especially matter. I have a truce with him, so he can keep his. Honestly, this is the worst thing you could do is support somebody else's scheme. Because they have a truce, but you don't. So realistically, he's going to be the only one who gets to keep his at the end of this. Which means I could, I should be able to get Valyrians in, man. I don't want to give anyone too much land. So Archon has, Archon's a county cap, so I will keep Archon. Let's give away some Marl. Oh, I can give lands to my sons. That's probably actually the best move. Because Daeron isn't really going to get anything. So actually, let's give Daeron this whole north bit up here. Daeron's going to get all of this. Because Daeron is best boy. And then I only, I only need to give away... I can actually keep both of these. You know, until I, again, finish the project over here. And we'll grant you to... Uh, Megan. I don't... Megan's still young. Give a West... A random other West Rossi Valyrian then. You know, bring up another house. So it's not just us as the West of Rossi Valyrians around here. Okay, maybe I should enter seclusion. I'll enter seclusion, just to be sure. It's for five years then. Now I'll take the risk. I'll take the risk. It's only in the mandible right now. Andre Gold. I'll take Andre Gold. It means I can build that bloody temple. Where are we building it, though? I think these two, maybe, is the cities? Because... Oh, no. But then the temple would be, like, here. But this is actually really good. If you have a city here and a, a camp... You know, a... Uh, what am I saying? If you have a castle here and a castle here, it's like you're pretending both choke points. Let's build a temple here, and then a keep here would be ideal. It's going to take a while, and it's going to take three years to build that up. Keep expanding that road. This road project seems to be going fantastic. Yeah, county control is going to be a problem. 
Where's it worst right now? Yeah, let's get both of these. Spend on the road a bit. Roadside patrols gives minus my levy size. Oh, and it's for my main town. Control level. I don't. I don't want to risk control. That I feel like that's the worst option. Would be risking um, control levels when I've already got a lot of other control issues to deal with. Tarosh is having a plague now. Pentos's one still hasn't cleared. This pencils, this is a real bad one. Our one is is kind of cleaned up. Malis has come of age. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's get more property up. What shall we do with our heir then? He's unmarried. But there's not gonna be many great options in terms of culture for him. Your alliance also isn't great, so relevance is probably best. Let's I only go with Valyrians. The accounts. Yeah, there's no. I was gonna say there's no high Valyrians, which is the, gonna be the problem. There's no like spare daughter of the Valyrians. Adam's got any kids? Nope. Neither of them got any kids. The Nero just just doesn't have not any kids at all. So Adam, she's pregnant, but you know that's next generation, isn't it? <laughs> that's not going to get him a wife. Shrewd banker. Oh, because I guess technically he's grown up in the city, hasn't he? Seems like Mirish is going to be our best option because Mirish, you know, it is a subculture of of Valyrian. Which one? She doesn't seem too bad. Valyrian blood, Valyrian tongue. Good steps and quite beautiful. I mean, I'd host a grand wedding just because I have money more than anything. And, it, you know, it has a chance to give them good stats. <laughs> and I can't do hunts apparently because I can't see. Let's wait a month to get a little more money for the Grand Wedding. Since you're able to delay Grand Weddings a little bit. There we go. Grand Wedding. In... I it says, it's your capital. No, oh, really? No way. Entertainment. They're all pretty expensive, Jesus. They're all expensive. Okay, we'll go for a medium-sized wedding then. He's off at war again. Uh, can I have him join my court? He's pretty good. I'll be happy for. I'll be happy to have him in the court. Honestly, he's more than welcome. Maintenance, maintenance per dread. My dread is probably super low, so I don't think I'm gonna get much benefits from that. It's actually not that low. I thought it'd be lower. My natural dread of 20 is not that bad. I'm enjoying the ceremony, proud of what I've managed to organize. Everything has gone well so far, and as soon as I think as soon as I think it, I know I've jinxed it. Iria starts stuttering out the vows, severely mispronouncing her spouse's name. It happens. Everybody stutters, you know. It's it's the it's the emotion of the moment. She's just getting caught up in it all. Just so proud. People can see a tear in my eye, which would be very impressive because I am wearing bandages over my eyes. These ones make sense to try and give him, but I'm going to give him greedy just because, like, I'm greedy. I'm not going to be like, ah, you bastard, don't be greedy. It's like, yeah, that's what I do. How, am I, how can I teach him other than, being, than doing what I do?
Get a Guardian 4. Okay. Oh, not no, you need a successor. Oh. Okay. Years. The control. Right, the wedding banquet is beginning. Wonderful, wonderful. It's a nice day for a white wedding. I'm ne I never pay attention to wedding. I know what you said. I just don't understand why you find it so funny. She had a lovely chest on this courtroom. Ha 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 ha. So. I can either tell him that his joke and his innuendo was shit, or I can just ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. It's best thing to do with people who don't care about their jokes. Every feast has always won. Every single feast. One long-winded, ill-boring pissant. Cornering people who will not be silent. This time it's Jarko. And he's droning on and on and on about his personal connection with his faith. And how I should try to see the true light of Urax into my heart. He hasn't asked one question about my beliefs. I am not going... I, oh, I am going to scream. You can tell him to shut up. Anyone that would increase my intrigue or give me approachable. Which is not bad. Uh, let's see if we get this one. Yeah, yeah it means mean it was 50% chance, wasn't it? It was it's unlikely to happen. Yeah, every one of these these argument ones, I'll just pretend I'm not <laughs> they're not long because I, I, I mean I'm ADHD, so it's what I'll do in IRL. I love this one. This is the just the, what's better than a good feast? Guests throng to and fro, eating and chattering while flickering torchlight blades off every wall. Light bouncing like laughter around the hall. It does me good to hobnob with my. With what my lessons like this, my feet are. Uh, I'll say the text is slightly small, so it's hard for me to read. The the reason the text is small is because if, if you've ever played multiplayer, you actually need to decrease the GUI size. In fact, you know, what, let's go to settings and increase the GUI size back up so that we can actually read it. Because I'm slightly hungover, so reading is hard for me. Did I go above a hundred? Because this feels immediately too big. No, this is 100%. Okay, I guess I've played with 80% for so long that now 100% feels weird to me. <laughs> what, Dynasty Legacy? Ah. Which of these to go for? I always go for House of Warriors, but we're not that great at fighting. Dread Gain may be good. Just because we don't have much natural dread. Noble Veins is good because we have some congenital traits. Hmm. Pure blooded for Valyrians is always good just because all of the Valyrian traits are good. So, yes. I think it's between Ominous Reputation and Noble Veins. Let me go with Noble Veins. I played for so long with such a small GUI that this normal sized GUI just feels weird to me. It feels too big. Maybe I'm right. Maybe it actually is too big. Another war. Is this another slave raid? Yep. I think he'll probably win this one. Unless for some reason he, again, can't actually reach it. How long left on the temple? 17 months. And I can't build... Yeah, I can't build until the temple's finished. My vassal's been taken... I've only got like two vassals. Is it him? Oh, and it's one of my, my barons. Okay. Am I not able to declare war on these? I should be able to. Yeah, that war's already over. Only took about a day. A year off age. Oh, my grandson's been born. Baylor, Amen, Darren, Agen, Darren, Amen, Agen. So this would be Malus's son. 
Elix, Valerian after me. Maylor. I like Hagen. You turned out to be a pretty interesting heir. Stat wise, like, that stewardship's incredible. I thought it was going to be diplomacy, but stewardship still won out in the end. Level 3. Decent fighter, not great. I mean, it's a base of 6, whereas my base is 15. I mean, there's some people you can get a base of like 40 with, so. You know, let's, let's be real here. It's good, but it's not incredible. Right, let's see, we've got Raider Slave Camp here. Just because that's pure wealth. Get these up. Another spy. Did, uh, they're doing a great job of catching these spies so far, I'll admit. I don't really send out spies because I don't really care. <laughs> in, in all genuine truth and honesty. It's a mechanic that I like the addition of, but I very rarely choose to engage in. Oh, he's an even better uh, fortune builder. Yeah, good thing I put you in power with these lands up north then. Maybe you'll actually earn some money up here. That'd be good. You have a... That allies were 3,000 men? I would not have predicted that. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, you're not worth 3,000 men. And I'll probably take out your men before he arrives. Especially if you're not going to move. We'll probably have to siege before he even gets down here. Beast of Drake's Bay. My Magister! That's Rhaegor as he marched towards me, hauling my daughter Visenya by her ear. This dratted child has been lying in wait around corners, wearing a hyena skin for a costume, ready to jump out screaming and scare the living daylight out of people. That is honestly just bloody hilarious. I mean, it is bloody hilarious. Absolutely. <laughs> Beast. What an absolute chad. That's why you're going to get a diplomacy focus, kiddo. People are going to love you. Daughter with a martial education, because why not? Yeah, he's, a, he's got 3,000 men. Not too much to be worried about. Let's see if I finish the siege before he arrives. He's only got 20 days left. Yeah, before he could even arrive, the war's already over. Although apparently people are avoiding my taxes, so it may not be that good. going to grant this title to you because I don't like having one province vassals other than you and you're only one province because you're sitting in my am I able to revoke from you now no because you still have a truce and now they've had a, a daughter Daenerys their seed is strong they're, they're like me I mean I've already had I had six kids and they've already had two kids. Trove can marry. Oh, this was the, the alliance we agreed. I mean, I'm fine going through with this just because realistically, we're not. There's no Valyrians out there for us to marry. Maybe. Did Adam have a daughter, maybe? Only sons of the Iron Throne, and then. No, Adam had a son. This reminds me that I should be getting uh, an antiquarian if I have any good options for it. Put Philo back on household guard. Let's get my son as my master of arms. Okay, we only have an average. Are you able to recruit? No, you can peruse the artifacts market, but it's only going to be great, a magnificent sword for 433 gold. Or Reagan armor. Or Reagan mail, sorry. Interesting. The mere exchange has a lot to sell. Let's earn up a bit of gold then. Consider it. Or we could visit Valyria, but that costs a decent bit of money. Definitely something to consider when we're like swimming in money. All subjects would lose 20 opinion of me. 
I think I just do it. They're going to lose it now, but running it back to him, and he already loves me, like the other vassals don't especially matter much. And we'll get an alliance with our son. He's basically going to give it back to us anyway, because he's 51 and he's unmarried, so this land's going back to us as well. Our only actual vassal is her, and she's so weak that I would honestly be fine with her rebelling just so I can get out of her. So, ooh. Control increase the relative amount of property survey. Let's get the less expensive one because I don't see the need for the expensive one. Another kid. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one's not got the uh, white hair. The others. Rainis, Gail, uh, Helena. For a lovely spread of names, in my opinion. Central guild, so building structures kind of increases. Kind of mandible doesn't have much of a control pop in the first place. I'm fine with building take a little while longer. A renown is still very low, so hopefully Oh shit, it's my air. Oh, because it's the pox. Okay, successful treatment. Let's enter seclusion for a bit. Just the family. Lock the door. Because this is spread all through our coastline as well. And it's spread pretty bad. Bilio has gained Blade Blaster. Really, I was a, I was in for a rude awakening when the peop only people who showed up for my service this morning were your tax assessors. Apparently, the stern-looking officials were got served by Dorla to have many faithful followers of the Lord of Light from attending my service. While I'm happy to pay your dues, the affairs of the church are an inherently spiritual matter, not a temporal one. Hmm. Oh, okay. Using the ancient books will make him like me. Okay, my son, my son is happy again, or he's healthy again at least. We're still going to stay in seclusion until this passes, though, because this is a really bad one by the looks of it. We're very close to getting our second trait there. We are only 48. So we may still have time to go do the health tree if we want to live a long time, because I'd love to live a long time as this guy. He's wonderful. He's the best. Was for most people, uh, yeah, we can do this. It costs us prestige, but it gets us pure money. Wife is sick as well from the pox. Well, hopefully, that will also pass. Right, with this much money, how is the temple? Is it finished? It is finished. We can build our. Castle! We can build two castles, in fact. Let's do it. I've always said we want a double expansion. I was thinking, oh, I could go buy something from the market. But no, I keep teasing this double expansion. Let's do the double expansion. All my rivals are dying from this plague. So, it's not an all bad plague. It's just a very, a pretty bad plague. Okay, my wife's healthy again. Oof. It is spread very badly, though. The control, I imagine, is going to be decimated. Yep. Doesn't show any sign of, of clearing for a while, either. The Moor Pox. Honestly, such a good name to come from the Moor. The Moor Pox. Love that name. And Mandible's control is going to drop. There's not a lot I can do about that. And all of my rivals, this just, 
This plague's a gift from the gods. All it costs was my son getting sick for a day or two. Dying woods. Is it, was it a peasant? It's a slave revolt. Oh dear, buddy. This guy does not look like he is. Oh no, he's a freeman. Oh, he was a slave, but he's been freed. Interesting. Great marshal from him. Very surprising star ray. It's looking like it's starting to fade away. We'll stay in seclusion for a bit more, though. Just until we're, like, completely sure it's gone. Honestly, oh, so you having low taxes is kind of fine. I'd love to be able to go hunting, but unfortunately I cannot. Yeah, I guess get the disease, disease recovery and emerge from seclusion. The can invite some more captains and also invite some claimants. There's Look into the flames, which is always fun. Considering I am blind. Uh, let's offer some gold. And the Lord of Light remains silent. What a dick. Now, I could spend time going down this chain, which gives even more wealth, because it gives vassal tax. It gives uh, this side, which is about opinion and language, and then this side, which is vassal levies. I think we go... The learning path now, because we're also very good learning, and I want to do whole of body and scholar if possible. The scholar doesn't do a lot because we are Valyrian, so it's actually the Targaryens who who decide our um, culture tree. Of all the people who get one, I get one who has a claim on Estamon. What am I going to do with a claim on Estamon? Not going to war the Iron Throne over Estamon. I'll tell you that now. That's like starting a world war over the Balkans. Let's get control back up in the mandible then. New captain has arrived. Peasant uprising. Why is he over here in the Iron Throne? So he has 1,000 men and they have a... Okay. Join, but I don't think they've got a good chance here. I'll raise some men. I don't really want to commit too much, but let's just raise our army, wipe theirs, and then get out of there. This is going to cost a little bit in embarkation costs and stuff, but N never mind. Did he just immediately lose because he got captured? Oh, what a bloody idiot. Some people, eh? Some people. You have a claim on Dying Woods. Oh! That's actually pretty good for us. Oh, only the town, though. Okay, never mind. So, it's for a bit more than the town. If we're being honest. So, if I get both of these, I basically have full control over the region I want to have control over. You're High Valyrian, so I should actually just bring you in because you're High Valyrian. Honestly. I may even land him. <laughs> like, he's pretty good, actually. I can at least give him... Keep him in mind, because... it's The fact there's a High Valyrian is great. Because I think this guy's only a Sossi. Yeah, he's an Sossi Valyrian, so he sucks. Anytime I have, I get a chance to uh, land a high Valyrian, I'm going to take that chance. Board to become high counselor. 
It's self evident to all of the free cities of uh, Pentos that my liege cannot shoulder the burdens of rule himself. We elected a guy who can't rule. Uh, not without causing irreparable harm to our lands. As this situation is likely to persist for some time, the so realm needs to know who to turn to. It's principle cannot. So this essentially, this is I've been called as regent. What rule is he? Does he suck or why is? It's gonna say so. He's just away. So sure, I'm gonna be removed in a second because he's back. Why, do we have, why am I controlling eight provinces? Okay, is it because he's here? But I was gonna say, it's about worried. I just randomly got eight provinces. We are gonna grant you to. No, he is Westeros. I hope he was gonna be. I mean, Westeros and Valyrian is still arguably better. I'm gonna give him this title and this title. I don't really want to give away Archon, though. I think Archon I want to give to my son. But also, I don't want to give the duchy away, technically, anyway. We can give him this town, though. But none, none of your business, more like. Haha. <laughs> I'm not superstitious, so we're not going to go for the superstitious one. Did they say he became my rival? No, he became my vassal, I was going to say. So Mary was worried I had picked the wrong choice. Okay, so we ha our new cities are called Gelmor Velgesen and Vertigesen. If you have better names for these, please immediately suggest these better names because these names suck. That's first thing I do want to build here is what defense can they get? Is it just the forest forts then? Okay, forest forts and forest forts. God, it's so cheap to build. Build a militia camp there. I'd rather build up both of these and grant away. Even though it's a duchy capital, I think I'd rather give it away. Giving it to him means that he'd be able to immediately form. What do you what do you what do? You? If I grant this away, I can immediately reclaim it technically. So it does make sense until I figure out what I would want to do with Arconan to give one of these away. Because I can just reclaim them at any time with a revoke. Oh, I don't know. It's a difficult situation. Why? Slavery is not legal in this county, isn't it? It should be legal everywhere. Why has it changed? I I allowed it. Why has that changed? I'm going to deal with some money. We're going to 64%. Let's take this odds. Hell yeah. I could forge claims as well. Oh, oh, oh. We're not going to do that right now, though. All of these disabled buildings. So he must have changed the law then. Yeah, he's changed the law to make slavery forbidden. And I can't change it back. You dickhead. Wow. Bugger, bugger, bugger. This is gonna this is costing us a good amount of money. That's something to consider. That this is gonna cost us a good amount of money. Let's give this to Baylor for now. And Malus will become my steward. In fact, let's am I able to switch him around? Yeah, let's swap him. Have him be my assistant. Because it makes sense for you to be my assistant. Megan is now of age. But any good alliance? I, I could get an alliance with Mia. Ooh, now we're talking. That would be a good alliance. Designate. Yes. Uh, I, Not with him, honestly. We don't need one with him. And I'm not going to demand any payments either. Baylor keeps the trait sadistic. Hmm. He gets zealous instead. 
having a a bad egg or two. It's the flavour. It's absurd how cheap it is to upgrade some of these. And that's without the bonus, because uh, slaves also increase that bonus. Oh, then what happened to Iria? She was disfigured. Oh, no. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Wait, so she's... Okay, so this kid's is going to be Emma. Oh, who could I get my kids, my wife to train? Well, the spy master would take it without complaint, so we'll go with the spy master. I mean, it's also because that's what she's best at. Should be able to push both claims at once here. Which is great news for my one son who isn't landed yet. If you thought this is going to be a game... Oh, he's going to limit his expansion. Now you know. What I am going to do this game, in part of telling this story, is that there's going to be repercussions this. I can promise you that there's going to be repercussions to this expansion. But this expansion is almost needed because my whole surrounding region do not support any part of my rule. And what on earth? Megan died? Oh, brave Megan was killed leading attack against the, the archers. You bastard. I'm fighting God. I... That is... That is a tough loss to take. God, poor Megan. Honestly, I was going to give Megan these lands. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Give it to Vizani, but I don't think I can give it to women. Don't know where he's going. There is going to be a question about who I give these lands away to. Because I am just empowering my sons and anyone of Westerosi or High Valyrian blood if I can. Mm. Yes, I, I, there will be repercussions to this conquest. However, as I've mentioned, a lot of this is because I want to conquer these lands to stop them from being a free city. I want to forcefully feudalize these lands if I have to. And I'm an ambitious man. You know, Malus, ambitious too. So, you know, Malus may do the same. Who knows about Hagen, though? Oh, they're three generations in a row of intelligent. Oof, we'll take that, we'll take that. But 8 of 6. So we, we do need to give these away. She doesn't like me. I think we just give this to someone new, because it's two provinces. We grant it to someone of Western Rossi Valyrian culture. And then immediately become Essosi Valyrian. Like, I click West Rossi and the game just ignores it. But give him these two. And he'll be loyal. Okay. Well. I can imagine there's going to be a response for this mass expansion. However, I'm very happy with... I mean, playing in pencils is just a lot of fun. When you've got this much money to sort of splash around with. Even if I was playing a bad character, I'd still have a lot of money. But it, it definitely helps a lot, you know, that Valerian is a very good and very strong character. Even if his bloody hairline's receding now. Poor fella. Thank you guys so much for your support on all of my series, on all of my content. Please do leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have any suggestions about names, about anything and everything at this point. And please do check out my Patreon, check out my Twitch. Any way you want to support me is a way I'd be happy to have support. It really does help with this sort of content and know that that sort of support is out there. So thank you guys for those of you who do give it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Until then. <laughs>